here comes the bus. <laughs> Have a good day, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I don't know. It's called the little duck. Porter, what is that? That color is from. Is that from your preschool teachers? Yeah. Oh, wow. Porter got mail in the mailbox today from his preschool teachers and it said, we can't wait to see you at our open house and give you a big hug at preschool. <gasps> Yay! So yes, that is next week. Porter has his open house. We have like parent orientation on Monday and then his open house is on like Thursday next week or something like that. So that's super exciting. Preschool is coming fast at Porter. I know, we're out here waiting for Grayson to get home from kindergarten. The school bus should be coming any minute now. You guys, it is so stinking hot. It's supposed to be a heat wave this week and I am dying. Porter and I have been outside like all morning. He's gonna take an awesome nap. <laughs> We've been sweeping. We have this tree in our backyard and it drops. I don't know what they are. They're like these circle nuts that squirrels like to get into and open them up. And it just, there's a million of them and they get all over our grass and all over the sidewalk. And every so often I've been like raking them and sweeping them and it's taken me all morning and I've been pulling weeds. This yard work is so much. We have so much yard at this house and it's a lot. So that's what we've been doing all day. Grayson, this was his second day of kindergarten, so I'm curious to see how it went for him. This was the first day that he rode the bus to kindergarten. The first day I took him. And so, um, yeah, he got to ride it this morning. He was so excited. He kept telling me. Mom, he already came. He kept telling me, Mom, I don't like your driving. I like the school bus driving. So, ouch. But we are waiting for him. Yay! Now, I'm very confused because the first day they dropped him off, they came down one street. Then the second day, he didn't have kindergarten. No, it's for preschool. The second day, the bus came, but Gray didn't ride it because he only had to go one day last week. And it came down a different street. So I'm very confused what street it's going to come down. I'm very confused. The morning bus comes the same way every day. But this afternoon bus is very unpredictable. So I'm waiting to see where he's going to come from. But I'm so excited to see, hear how his day was. Hopefully he'll actually tell me how it was. A lot of times he says, like, I don't know. I'm like, ah. In, like, kindergarten, they don't send you pictures like preschool. So I honestly have no idea other than what the teacher tells me what he did. So hopefully he had a good day. But, yes, it is so dang hot. We are going to just play in the basement this afternoon because it's supposed to be just, like, the heat index and the mugginess is just supposed to be so bad. I think Thursday this week, it's supposed to get up to like 97. Gray has soccer practice that day. I wonder if it'll get canceled or not. It is in the evening, so hopefully it'll be better by then. But oh my gosh, this heat. August is going out with a bang. That is for sure. Everyone's like, oh no, July's the hottest month. Not August. No, August is horrible because of the mugginess. There's a word for it. Words are escaping me. Yep, Avery is your brown eyed girl. Anthony's parents taught Porter brown eyed girl. Avery has brown eyes, and so he's been. Avery has brown eyes, and so Porter has been singing that to Avery, and it's the cutest thing. 
she's taking a nap right now. And then as soon as Greg gets back, we'll do lunch and nap time. And I need to just chill because I've been working so hard all morning. I feel so good about it though, but whew, it's taking a lot of energy. So we're just waiting for Gray. He should get here literally any minute. Well, I guess technically he's supposed to come at 12.15. It's 12.09, so we have a couple minutes. But we're waiting for him. We're excited to see him. Side note, I have these beautiful flowers that came from Allison's baby shower. We did it over the weekend and it was really fun, a little stressful because I helped plan it. It's the next day, I'm just making this into a two day vlog. But we had such a good time at Allison's baby shower. I took a few clips and some pictures, so I'll input those here. So cute. Allison had a great time, which is all that matters. 
Anthony watched all three kids for me. Avery was invited, but um, she was just napping anyway, and I wouldn't have been able to get anything done. So I just left her home with Anthony, and the boys, of course, stayed home, and they had a guy's day. And I helped set up, helped run the games, and then helped clean up. So that's done. And now in about a month, a little less than a month actually, we have my sister-in-law Ellie's baby shower for her boy. <laughs> so just always all thought about the babies lately. So that's coming up. I need to find something to get her. I think I'll probably go in on a gift with my sisters. Kelly and I got a gift for Allison together. So we'll probably all three sisters get Ellie a gift. Yeah, Grayson is at school. I gotta do a grocery pickup with the little kiddos while he's in school. And it was so, so hot yesterday, you guys. We did that yard work of raking all these like nuts. And then Anthony went ahead and mowed last night, but it was so hot. Like we were out in the morning, Porter and I were. And then we stayed inside until the evening when the sun was going down. And even then, like the humidity was so bad humidity that's the word i was looking for yesterday and i could not think of it i could only think of mugginess humidity the humidity was so bad right now it actually feels really nice it's like 66 and no humidity it's supposed to get really really hot today is not supposed to be too bad but thursday they're saying like 97 so it's gonna be really hot really bad and we have like an excessive heat warning till like 9 p.m that day and gray has soccer from six to seven i honestly think they're gonna cancel his soccer practice we'll see though i will vlog here and there i guess throughout the day i don't know there's not very much going on because porter's Two weeks from today, Porter starts preschool, but as of now, he and Avery are just home with me all day, every day, and then Gray does his kindergarten. I did ask him, like, how was school yesterday? It was, like, technically his first day of kindergarten, because the first day he went was, like, a phase-in day, where only half the class showed up. He just doesn't answer my questions very often, and he's like, I don't know, fine. What'd you do? I don't remember. He did say that... He played at the playground for recess, but they didn't have popsicles this time, so he's kind of disappointed. <laughs> but other than that, I think he had a good day. It's so weird because kindergarten has so much less communication than the preschool did. Like preschool, they're constantly messaging you on the app. You go and like pick up your kid every day, so you're seeing the teacher yourself in person, so they're telling you about your kid. And then they take pictures almost every day and upload them to the app this one it's like i've hardly had any communication with the teachers so i'm just like well i guess no news is good news it's just like i don't know i it's so weird like i guess it's just like elementary school like you don't have to be in constant communication with your kid's teacher and i'm sure if i messaged her like or emailed her she'd get back to me and we do have curriculum night coming up in like a week and a half and then we have uh, parent-teacher conferences in October. But I don't know, I just figured like it would be a lot more communication. I'm just used to preschool, so I just gotta adjust. Hey guys, I'm just rocking here with Avery. Say hi, Aves. Say hi. I meant to vlog more today and honestly, I just haven't. It's been a really hard day. The kids have just been really bad and sassy and it's taken a lot out of me and Avery I don't know she's going through something not sure if this is the four month sleep regression her naps have been bad today and she's just been really fussy she <laughs> I can't believe she did this I was I put her down on the ground in the hallway and went into the bathroom to wash the boy's hair and hello say hi and hi. as i was washing her hair she rolled herself to her side and she was obsessed with eating her f fingers and hands as you can see well she managed to get her fingers in her mouth and stuck her fingers so far down her throat that she ended up gagging and puking all over the carpet what yeah so then i had to run downstairs and get carpet cleaner and deal with all that so it's it's just feels like one thing after another it's bedtime anthony isn't here he's at a work happy hour social event well, so it's just me with the three kids we are, and we it are, just feels like a lot right now so i'm really ready for bedtime um, for all the kids 
I'm just done with today, and I don't know why it's so hard today. It's just been really hard. Okay. Okay. I think she's, I don't know, what, I don't know if she's teething or what, but she is, like, super upset about something. It's just, it's been really hard. I think with her being so miserable, it's just made today a lot harder because the two boys are already hard on their own, and she's always been my angel baby. So, yeah, they're fighting over a book right now. It's just a crazy day. This is my life. The two crazy boys.